Okay, hi, welcome back and this is our next edition of uh, the heat equation problem. This time we are going to do a heat equation problem on a square plate. Here is the plate that I have shown. Okay, that's the square plate. So let me kind of draw the outline of it. There it is. So that's the square plate and what is known is that on the on the on this side we know that the temperature is uh, 30 degrees. On this side the temperature goes uh, T equals 40 degrees. Here we are given partial T with respect to Y equal to 7x and here it is given partial T with respect to Y equal to 8T. I am just making up something, uh, sorry, uh, this partial T with respect to X. This kind of thing is called a heat flux boundary condition. This is called a specified temperature. So our question is the following, solve. Partial T with respect to T equal to K times D squared T DX squared plus D squared T DY squared. By the way, this whole thing is usually written as del square t <coughs> and it's called the Laplacian operator. So that's our equation given, um, let us let us call this unit h, this is h, so that's the size, that's the size of the cell. What is given to us is along the boundary at x equal to 0, boundary conditions or at x equal to 0. x equal to 0 is this boundary, that is boundary number 1, t equal to 40 degrees, at y equal to 0, that is this boundary condition, that is number 2, it is given that partial t with respect to y equal to 7x, at y equal to 3h, that is this boundary, uh, t equal to 30 degrees and at y equal and at x equal to 3h, this is boundary number 3, this is boundary number 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. At x equal to 3h, dt dx equal to 8t. And then finally, of course, this is a a differential equation is evolves in time, so I have to give initial conditions also. So in this case, I am going to give t of x, x comma y comma time t equal to zero is given by this is time t x comma y comma zero is given by let us say x squared plus y squared um, at time t equal to zero. Okay. This is our initial condition, those are our boundary conditions. What, we, what I want to show you is that we need to set up the equations. We are not going to solve it, but we are just going to set, set this up. So um, what we are going to do is, we are of course going to use central difference. So I am going to, I am going to start up by saying T, um, T0 ij ij means at the ijth node. So these are the nodes. I have divided it into just a very simple 4 by 4 grid as you can see. This is to keep it rather simple. t naught ij at time t equal to 0 is xi squared plus uh, xij squared plus y uh, ij squared. That is x and y location ij. So xij ij is i minus 1 times h. So for example, if you want to find and y ij is j minus 1 times h. So let us see if this works. Let us see what is x32. Turns out to be 3 minus 1 times h which is 2h. y32 will be 2 minus 1 times h which is h. Let us see. 
There, can you see? Uh, one, two, so I got the other way around. I am sorry. X minus, so I throw, so three, two, I'm sorry. So it should be J minus one, I minus one. J minus one, I minus one. So this is two minus one. This is three minus one. So two H, H. And you can see that's correct. X three two will be H, Y three two will be two H. Okay, so please remember you have to get these things correct. So let's make sure X I J is J minus one times H, Y I J is I minus one times H. Okay, so that's our starting point. Then we write our usual forward Euler. So in the interior, that means all the black nodes, these guys, interior is this guy. So this, 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 there are only four nodes in the interior. So in the interior, we know what the equations are, looks like Tn plus 1 Ij equals Tn Ij plus uh, delta t uh, k over c h squared <coughs> times t n i plus 1 j plus t n i j plus 1 plus t n i minus 1 j plus t n i j minus 1 minus 4 t n i j this is nothing but our usual thing it is the average of these four things average minus the center you can see or sum let us not say sum sum minus four times the center okay that's what that's what TNIJ is. Now let us look at the boundaries. The easy boundaries are at the top and the bottom, top and side. If you look at the boundary 1 and 3, that is 1 and 3. Why? Because on those boundaries, you can see that uh, I know the temperature. So, T, you can see it is 